just a TC, yay. I could just build here. Let's go, dude. Oh my god, they got so much. Oh my god. How are you still alive, dude? GG, dude. Oh. Got him. Hell yeah. Interesting. Beginning of day two of WAP. I would be very surprised if I was raided, to be honest. I think the base was chunky enough. Nice. Ooh. A lot of comps. So what we're going to do this morning is, is load up the furnaces and uh, just check out the area, see if anyone's moved in. I think we're going to just roam around, try and find some action. See if we can get some cards and maybe run launch. Get a tier three down. Yeah, we got a few uh, few little tasks to do today. It's gonna be good fun. Kind of nice to wake up and have like your area more or less the same than it was when you went to sleep. These are really cool little like uh, shooting floor drop box areas and all you have to do is like make two two half walls destroy the bottom one and then you can put down a uh, like a low wall and it gives you a nice little peak protection coming up the ladder hatch.
It would not be a Harvey's base without a indoor fireplace. We can go check out launch. where he lives. It's one thing I know about this dude is that he rages <laughs> and comes back with more weapons. I did not know, I did not think he lived there that whole time. someone's been here recently. Oh, nice jacket. Need that. I feel like this is where the guys are taking Bradley every time. Shardy trap? Nice. Did I kill him? I have no idea if I killed him. Because he turned straight into a body bag for some reason. <laughs> I know this Akashi dude is not opposed to a door camp, so... Let's be a little bit cautious here on the way back to base. Okay, let's go find a boat and head over to Lighthouse and we're going to do a, a big ass recycle. After a fairly relaxing start to day two, I was now faced with the task of recycling a ton of components I'd gathered on day one. And with no easy safe zone access, I thought the safest place to do so would be this lighthouse on the top right corner of the map. So with that plan in mind, I headed out to find a boat.
I can't boat spawn in the snow. Would make my life a whole lot easier. Don't mind me, just stealing your boat. So we'll wait for uh, wait for daytime, wait for the next day to come, and then we'll go on that run with all the comps over to Lighthouse. I'm a little bit stressed about it, not gonna lie. I'm a little bit stressed about it. Take some excess meds and ammo. Just in case. Am I actually kit up for this? To be honest. Since we're not gonna be in the snow. So what are we taking here? Oh lord. Oh lordy lord. Good luck. Oh my god, that's a lot of shit. I would really like to take it to Outpost, but there's no real safe way to get there. There's so many teams down there because of large oil, like around here. Let's just stay as dry as possible. This is so risky. The server is completely filled at the moment. I just, like, building in the snow, I haven't seen as many people. But I feel like this area I'm heading to might be kind of busy. Which is why I'm doing it during the day, because I don't want to be snuck up on by grubs. Imagine if I go on to mining outposts instead. Holy. That's a lot of juice. There's a lot of juice, man.
huge. That's a tier 3 right there. Okay, let's uh, head over to launch. We're taking our best kit at the moment. So hopefully we don't die. State Bradley. Uh, I just give it a crack. I mean, this is my only Thompson, is the only thing. I don't have another SMG body. Fuck it. Let's give it a crack. I mean, what's the point of having all this loot if I don't use it? Right. Damn it. There's like five of them, dude. Look at me. There's like actually five of them. Uh... <laughs> oh, God. I mean, look, as soon as I decided to try and fight them, I knew it was me. Me giving that kid away. So, so we can't be too upset about it. There's always something a bit demoralizing about dying to a group with such large numbers. But there's really nothing in this game that a nice, peaceful farm can't fix. So after gathering some wood to keep my furnaces going, I had a short break. The plan when I returned would be to go out for a roam and check out the surrounding area. So I was thinking about doing a little raid. Now that we've acquired the tier three workbench, I can make explo ammo. I was thinking this base down here. We can come back with some ladders. Oh, they're trying to, okay. They're trying to compound that. We're gonna raid it for sure. What the fuck, dude? Oh my 
god. M2? Yeah. I'm surprised he saw me so fast. But to be fair, I was like, out in the open. Not a bad little solo base for day two of a fresh wipe. I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty proud of my progress, to be honest. And I mean, in terms of PvP, like... The only, the only kits that I've really lost have been to the, the clan that keeps taking Bradley. It can be it can be tough as a solo sometimes. It can be surprisingly hard to be more than one person. In other shooters, like, you know, sometimes you can take on a five, six man team by yourself. Rust is a bit different to that. Just GG roam thoughts, hey? Eh? You know? Maybe I'll make a podcast. Roaming with GG. Oh man, these guys are actually making a compound. Let's see if we can make a play. Ooh, they do have an armored door there. God damn it. No, there's an auto turret. <laughs> no, no, there's an auto turret. No. Oh, that was the M2 guy. It was probably M2s in the box. Probably not, but let a man dream. Straight away, I'd connected this name, Blade Doc, as the silenced M249 that had killed me on a roam earlier that day. And sadly, that was an opportunity missed. But you can't win them all, especially when you're a solo. So I picked myself up, dusted myself off, and continued trying to progress on this weekly server. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to set up a small, um, just a 2 by one farm base down near water treatment and try and get a few red cards over the next hour or two and uh, then we can take it all back to base at the same time. Like this area here, Snipe and I built there, one white, and you can get blue from harbour and red from treatment. So it's pretty, it's pretty insane. You can progress so fast there. So that's the plan. Ooh, fuse. <laughs> Okay, we need a green card. Scientists, it's gonna be the best way to do that.
You're actually gay, kid. I don't have a rock. But Easy. So far, so good. Just need another smooth run here over to harbour. Thank you very much. We just check these crates are here before we uh, open crank again. That's cool. Oh, this is a flawless run so far. I think I just jinxed myself too. Go, go, go. I don't know where that DB shot came from, but be surprised if they're not coming this way. Red card acquired. That went way too smooth. This area is crazy. The fact that you can do that in like 15 minutes, that's insane. Yes. Whew. Over the next two hours or so, I battled it out with the local desert biome players, fighting for the blue room loot at water treatment. Half out, we go again. He's crazy, man. Four red cards should be enough to get me through. Like the rest of the wipe.
actually the best. Ugh, thank God. Well, that's pretty good. Three red cards. Alright, might as well get ready and head straight over to launch. I would love to raid that base with the M2. Obviously, the only way I'm going to do that is if they go offline. But there's at least four of them. I saw four of them. I think it was four jumping up around that hill. Yeah, so I do know the layout of their base. So I could pretty much calculate exactly how much it would be to raid. <laughs> Chopping up Bradley. Oh god. Poor fella. At least I know that Bradley's been taken recently. Ooh, suppressor. I actually need that. Nice. Ooh, crates are actually here. Ah, oh, camera. I need that too. Two crates are here. Pretty trash. Pretty, pretty trash. Pretty trash. I mean, in general, pretty, pretty shit, really. Like, the best things for me that I got from that run was an SMG body and suppressor. But hey, we made it out alive. It's always a, always a positive. Okay. Armor door would be handy. Go explore. Is there anything I've got on the tier 3? What about tier 2? Five hundred, holy. I think that's worth though. works. Nice. Um, yeah, let's go do red card again. few ladders over to that compound. Just have a bit of a look-see. Yeah, I don't know when the last time is that someone came onto this peninsula, but I haven't seen anyone for a long, long time. I've got a feeling these guys are offline. I don't know, man. I've got a feeling.
Yeah, I'm not hearing much. All right, let's let's get over here. Let's have a look before uh, before we lose our opportunity. Holy, yep. Oh, there's another name. So they got at least four. They got at least four in their group. One of the benefits of recording when you play is being able to like pause pause the recording as a screenshot and like I can see the layout of their compound on the inside. Maybe one high external over with a ladder. I think we might avoid the turrets potentially. Didn't even use a med syringe. <laughs> yeah, I think if we go here, we might avoid it. specific amount that is being left behind. Let's move carefully around the core here. Okay. We should check if I could have used something else to get up there. So, I mean, I know there's loot here, like directly under here. What if we just splashed here and opened up two loot rooms? Should we just send it? I feel like we should just send it. I mean, all you can do as a solo is give it a crack, right? That's all you can do. <laughs> if it's a disaster, it's a disaster. I'm I'm down to just go through one sheet metal like roof. Is if we go through the doors, they might have like sealed up the rest with like armor doors and shit. I say we play it safe. Go straight down. So with that, I crafted up as much explosive ammo as I could and went back over to raid into the top loot room of this clan's base. I had a reasonable idea of the layout of their top story from earlier when I went deep and died to the auto turret. So pending any dramatic changes to their layout, we were in with a decent shot here. Ladder still there? Hell yeah. We got this. There are two turrets. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, these guys have been taking 
Bradley too, so those turrets are probably filled to the brim. I'd really love to like empty the turrets, like bait them. But they're gonna be filled. Compound bow, really? Oh, it's so late. I was personally impressed by my run. Ooh, only time now. Okay. Okay. Should be able to drop down here. No. Ooh, rocket launcher. <gasps> HV. <laughs> yes. Ah, ah, ah. Can I even do this without it killing me? Maybe I should jump up and out and shoot it from like up there. Oh god. Oh, I got no meds left. No. <laughs> no. Could be the end. No, I can't be done. I can't get it. No. Auto sprint. Good. Fucking auto sprint, man. I think that's a GG guys, I think that's a GG, those guys are going to try and hang around and take it over. And that's exactly what happened. I ended up getting a salty message from this clan member who I'd killed with a HV rocket I found in their box. Turns out he thought that I was the one that wiped them off the server. The next day, I logged in to check on the status of my base, which was now decaying, and ended up messaging the solo I'd been fighting it out with throughout this wipe to see if he wanted my base. Hey dude. Bro. There you go man. You've been killing me man. Man, we had so many good fights. He ended up being a great bloke, and it was a nice way to finish off a really enjoyable solo wipe. Alright man, uh, anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna log off the wipe, but if you're interested, the, this video, like, I, I make YouTube videos, so this would probably make a YouTube vid if you want to have a look. Bro, I knew you sounded familiar, bro. <laughs> Alright brother, take it easy. Yeah, you too, man. Uh, what a cool dude. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you real soon.